Around the war memorial are roses. They form a thicket, so overgrown that they suffocate the grass. Their blooms are white, rolled tight like paper. They rustle. Dawn is breaking. Soon it will be day. Every morning, as he cycles alone along the road to the mill, Windish counts the day. In front of the war memorial, he counts the years. By the first poplar tree beyond it, where he always hits the same pothole, he counts the days. And in the evening, when Windish locks up the mill, he counts the years and the days once again. He can see the small white roses, the war memorial and the poplar tree from far away. And when it is foggy, the white of the roses and the white of the stone is close in front of him as he rides. Windish rides on. Windish's face is damp and he rides till he's there. Twice, the thorns on the rose thicket were bare and the weeds underneath were rusty. Twice, the poplar was so bare that its wood almost split. Twice, there was snow on the paths. Windish counts two years by the war memorial and 221 days in the pothole by the poplar. Every day when Windish is jolted by the pothole, he thinks, The end is here. Since Windish made the decision to emigrate, he sees the end everywhere in the village. And time standing still for those who want to stay. And Windish sees that the night watchman will stay beyond the end. And after Windish has counted 200, and 21 days and the pothole has jolted him, he gets off for the first time. He leans the bicycle against the poplar tree. His steps are loud. Wild pigeons flutter out of the churchyard. They are as grey as the light, only the noise makes them different. Windish crosses himself. The door latch is wet. It sticks to Windish's hand. The door is locked. Saint Anthony is on the other side of the wall. He is carrying a white lily and a brown book. He is locked in. Windish shivers. He looks down the street. Where it ends, the grass beats into the village. A man is walking at the end of the street. The man is a black thread walking into the field. The waves of grass lift him above the ground. <laughs>